All right, this is an imagery script for defensemen. And the first thing we wanna do is get nice and relaxed. So take a nice deep breath in with a big long exhale. And then take one more nice deep breath in with a really big long exhale. And we have our eyes closed and we're focused on the upcoming game. So the next game that you might have, who you're playing, where you're playing, you wanna be very vivid and detailed about where you are. And before the game actually starts, we want to imagine ourselves using our pre-game reset routine where we're managing any nerves that we might have. We're channeling them. We're getting dialed in on what we can control. We're blocking out the noise. Okay, we're doing our reset routine. And because of that, you know, we're get to our sweet spot, our arousal level, and we're dialed in before the game starts. Now let's jump to the first play. So this play will be a dump in and you're back checking, you're going back hard for a puck retrieval. You do your shoulder checks, you take a good angle, and you take the net and stop. So then you make a quick up on the strong side. Then you're, you, know, you work hard and you get up the ice and you're looking for numbers. You're making it a three on two. You drive to the front of the net, there's a shot on net, and bam, you bang in the rebound. Okay, good jump in the play as a D. And while you're imagining that type of a play, I want you to focus on how, what you feel like. So focus on the feel of controlling the play, slowing it down. And then also having that urgency to make the quick pass. And then you feel like you want to be hungry. You, you're looking for the puck. You're aware. And you're, you're trying to be an option as you join the rush. The next play starts with a dumping. And so the four checkers are going in and they get the puck. So you're gapping up. You're getting to make sure you have a tight gap and you're being supportive. Your team has the puck. And as they're coming around the net, you're calling for the bank pass. You recognize that there's space. Uh, the forward moves it to you. And then you're using that puck in the, in the space that you have to then move in. You, you recognize there's an opening. You walk in near the top of the circles. And you take a slap shot. You take a howitzer. And uh, you go low blocker. There's a rebound. Bam, forward jumps on it goal right now really focus also on while you're imagining this what it feels like you're comfortable and excited to gap up you want to be a part of the play you're prepared and you're playing with speed and confident and then you're also feeling like you're a threat and you're opportunistic you want to help create offense for your team now the next play is on the power play so you're going to be playing on your strong side you're receiving a pass and you're walking the middle of the ice right like um, you know just walking the blue line and then you're going to look for a pass back to the center, back pass to the side that you came from, and and then they get it back. So there's a little give and go play, and then you pick it up while you're moving to do a fake shot, and then you open it up and you go low blocker. So just making some some give and goes at the top. And what really again matters again how you feel while you're working the top of the power play. And so as you're doing these moves, you feel excited, you're willing to take that risk. Yet you're also calm. And you're focusing on creating space for um, you and your teammates. You also feel in control and very confident. Um, you're able to deceive the goalie and feel like a sniper when you shoot. Now, at this point, we want to do a mid-game reset routine. I don't want you to focus on making a mistake, but you might feel that you're off. You're distracted. You have that pink elephant in your mind. And so we want to clear it. And so just imagine yourself on the bench, taking a deep breath, doing your reset routine, and clearing your mind, accepting and letting it go. Now the next play um, will be a neutral zone play where the other team wins it and they go D to D. And they try to go to the far guy, but you're able to read it. And you pick off the pass and you use your speed to go by him. And then so you're attacking off the rush and you take a shot for the, you know, intentionally for the rebound, low pad, far side, and there's a rebound and you score. Again, how you might feel during this play becomes really important. You feel light, you're alert, you're prepared. Okay, You have a, a tight gap, you feel assertive. And then you also feel explosive and you feel smart and confident attacking off the rush. The next play will be a D-zone face-off play. So you're going to switch sides and you pick up the puck off a rim. And um, you know, so the, your D partner is giving it to you behind the net. And then so for, and then you're able to um, make the pass up to make it a two-on-two, -two, um, you know, hit the center, and then you're, you know, busting to get up the ice to create a three-on-two. And so you're now staying back because you're the, the late guy in. You're the open guy. You call for the puck. You get that pass, and you take a one-timer, low glove, snipe, goal. Again, some of the feelings you might have is being prepared for the face-off, 
Um, you're exhilarated, you're excited about being an option, you're confident, you have lots of energy, and you're willing to take that risk to jump into the play and, and pass up the middle. And then as well, you might also feel very aware, ready, certain, confident. You feel like a threat as you take that one-timer. Now, the last play I want you to do imagery of is another power play. And so on this one, you're the strong side D, and again, you're walking the middle, and you're going to pass it back to the center, and and he's going to give it back again. But this time, you shoot right away um, for the guy in front. He's stick front, he's on net, and he's able to tip it and go in. So a simple but another important power play. And again, how you feel matters. It might feel similar to the other power play where you're excited, willing to take a risk. You're calm, you're creating space, and you're in control and you're prepared. So you can do this in different ways. There's, you can add some you know, additional plays. You can you know, penalty kills, um, big hits, whatever parts of the game that are most important for you, you can add. And you can also review this on practice days and like imagine yourself what you want to do on practice days You want to be doing this imagery consistently. So hopefully you guys found this helpful. To wrap up, you just take a nice deep breath in and a big, long exhale. And one more deep breath in and a big, long exhale.